speed up this uh speed this bar barrett up maybe Ooh, so <coughs> what if they go savior actually oh, oh they they snatched up a kiddo a mid lane savior yeah and a persecuted oh but in this scenario i've so actually Okay. okay, let him talk. Let him talk. Let the guy talk. All right, thank you, Paquito. Are He's you done. good? He's done. Okay, He's okay. done. He does? Okay. If we were talking about like Benedetta and stuff earlier, I would have preferred like Blackus ended up with Benedetta. Looks yeah. like they will. Looks like they will. Oh. Yeah. yeah. On point. You can't ban everything. <laughs> yeah. Great job. So you're left with maybe Fredrin here if you're Blacklist. Freddy. <laughs> or Akai, actually. Fred or Akai. Uh, Akai at. would be good because Omega plays such a tight position. Like a uh, heavy spin to disrupt that would be good. Okay. <laughs> Man. Okay. So I'm seeing Lilia actually here for Exhort. But like I said, maybe the Xavier is not a bad option. It was yeah. picked up by another team yesterday. Aqua. It RG. was Aqua. Yeah, RSG. It's not yeah. going to take out a while. It's not, not going to take too long. If you play the Xavier, it is Xavier it is. plus Nolan. Mm, but it's yeah. going to be at the oh, no, dawning light. Sorry, it's it's a long range battle, right? Yeah. Okay. It, nope. it's oh, oh my god! This no. was in the back of my head, but I didn't want to yeah. say it because it made no sense it's to me. It's all in, bro. It's all in on Big J. Oh, is this a no? They're doing Whoa. the blacklist. It's a jungle. Wait, wait, it's a what? jungle. Wait, wait, wait. wait. What? They're, they're pulling the mirror. The, yeah, they're mirroring blacklist. You saw Exord even gave H2 like a little bit of a high five. Like, oh, you can do this. Jungle look, look Nathan, Nathan like, mid Barrett. Oh, what? Tetsu is like what? He's like, oh, Jungle Nathan mid Barrett. Mid Barrett. Five ruby. I, I kind of like five florin. I kind of like mid Barrett. By it's the way, like, gold, gold ruby. There it is. It's, it's exactly wow. what Ohe played. Everything last week, dude. It's, it's such nuts. <laughs> Everything is nuts. I like it. And uh, when everything is nuts, you turn it upside down, you get stunned. Oh man, this is why Butters lost last season. What? Don't don't get, don't remind okay, me. Don't I'm remind sorry, me. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Don't remind me. So Game number all two. It's all on the line this time for the Barangay as they try to make it the game three with such a risky gambit, putting a page <laughs> out of blacklist right in front of them. This is game number two. Will it work? No purify. On Nathan against a Minotaur against this Benedetta with a Petrify. I'm scared. I'm legit scared for H2. Yeah, let's see. Uh, John Paul's got to protect himself. And so he has made it work, and I can't believe Omega are really drafting like their long time right? It's such an Omega thing to do. You field your veterans, and you, in their first full series is against <sighs> Blacklist. You make them draft lineups reminiscent of Blacklist. Okay, here's a quote uh, I'd l like to think from season 10 or season 11, where coach Brian Pandalim of RSG said, I don't want to face Omega, because when you think they're going to do one thing, they do the complete opposite, and it throws them off. Yeah. I don't want to face Omega. They are Lason. La close oh. enough. Did you get it? No. no. Okay, so H2 close. receives the, f the flower, which obviously is great. Uh, it's a uh, five percent attack, and that's definitely good for some some a hero like Nathan that kind of have ooh, a ooh. you know has a mixture of both magic and physical. Yeah, definitely. Oh, you a bit of smack there. H2 is still looking for level four. Part of his rotation disrupted by an invasion of uh, by Blacklist International. You gotta take it slow, or is that yeah. counterproductive? Does, does Omega wait for a power spike on H2 here? Oh, gonna, they, well, they they have no choice, or unfortunately. They pick random fights that even Blacklist weren't expecting. Well, uh, I, I unfortunately Dan, Leo, Kubangai, they really have to wait for H two. So they should really No way. They shouldn't. Yeah. Yeah. And at the same time, I think they have to be proactive. It's not just waiting, but being proactive about it. And they're not going to be able to contest this turtle because uh, out of rotation is the Nathan, and they're going to be taking their time. See, Haji actually is in there. I like the final blow. Entry in by Edward. Just provided a little bit of space. Blacklist gets the turtle without a problem. Oh, okay. whoa, 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 H2. Haji has been on him this entire time. Petrify, Shadow Slash by Edward. First blood, not the start Omega wants. There's nothing H2 could have done there. Abu Jinjing, talk to me about why they were so deep in front of oh, H2 like that. Man. How'd they get there? Well, they do have uh, they do have this Minotaur with the flicker that freshly got off level 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 four, and they know that H2 will need to farm. And there's like I said, no no purify on the Nathan. There's a natural cleanse for that hero, but it will now never be enough. So at 
two and a half minutes, Blacks International got away with murder, and it was in your face. And they just straight up walked into Omega's front door, into their jungle, and said, you know what, H2, this is to stop. After taking first turtle clean, too. Yeah. And I'm looking, oh, Ryota versus Edward. Ryota brought low. He ate up oh. an electo final blow. Petra find out on there for no Edward. No, we don't do it. No, we. No, we. Oh, no, that, we. That's uh, Ryota's name for people yep. wondering. That's right. What's his last name again? Makasa. Makasa. Oh, there, there. Thank you. Former national athlete, won the gold medal with Seabol exactly. last yeah. year in Cambodia. Exactly. He was uh, one of the people with the uh, year of triumph. Yep. For, uh, with AP Brent's version of In Seabol. fact, Omega has two gold medalists. That's right. Uh, him and Rebo right yeah, now. Yeah, that's true. Wow. In, in, in <laughs> active deployment on the map right that's now. This is, this is not dangerous what Rio's doing. Oh! Oh! Okay. Sword meets so um, fists. <laughs> I, I, I yeah. forgot all the way from the of Taji. Mino and Fury hey, hey. onto two. Oh. H able to get away on time, but there's actually the purple buff going to the Sensui. Exhorted the members of Omega pressing forward. They're trying to chase after Haji, but they don't jump! Big Flicker! I'm offended, ultimate by the Ruby. And even Omega were a little bit surprised because it doesn't look like they're completely ready for that one. Jump not trying to survive, but Oheb takes him down. Big J coming in clutch, another hero play, four minutes in. I mean, it slows down Blacklist, gives Omega some bit of a clap back. Now Turtle Fight coming up. And they have Retribution this time, Omega. Yeah, and since we's far. Woo -hoo -hoo! And they get the Turtle. What a turn of events, Big J with the play. It all started with Exhort with that Flicker play going for the Tonus Welcome. Actually, land, um, when he popped the flicker, he managed to land the stun onto two members. Then it was quickly followed up by Joe with that flicker play for himself. Eventually was taken out by Oheb, which is, by the way, we haven't been talking. Oheb is having a lot of good time down the bottom lane. Yeah. So he's okay. But then Omega, definitely a disastrous first two minutes, but it was salvaged by two hero plays. Yeah. And so far, I think the only reason why we don't get to talk about Oheb much is because Jom lets him have the lane. Again, Jom is still down on XP, right? Yeah. True. And then Oheb knows that he's not needed elsewhere on the map is because there's enough pressure onto Omega's weak points this early on. So we can expect maybe KL1 to come into play in a few minutes, especially once Lord comes up. Talking about it, yeah, he's oh, well. still up a thousand gold on yeah. Jom. Yeah, it's a just thousand a, gold. It's the war axe on the ruby. Man, at this point, well, we know that the, the, the three-item power spike of a Ruby is much stronger than the three-item spike of a Marksman, but eventually in the late game, oh. there will not be enough damage for Jom. Here we go again. Big actual echo. These Blacklist knows that they cannot fully commit into this. Even uh, Sometimes it feels like uh, even Blacklist is a little bit scrambled with their rotations because how Omega's rotations are kind of scrambled oh. by nature. Yeah. Oh, look at that entropy actually committed by H2. In the mid lane to get away, he almost ran into Edward and Sensui. Yeah. Uh, bit of good news though for uh, H2. Quick cooldown on Entropy, so yeah. uh, not something he has to worry about. To be specific, Very fast. there is but uh, what 20 Ooh. something seconds once Ifer it's fully leveled. Ifer and I already committed there by Edward. Ryota, ooh, eats up a Star Shatter. By the Navaria and Blacklist are just gonna continue controlling the mid. And the fact that the minion waves in mid are controlled right now. By Blacklist means, I feel like it's going to be too risky if I make a try, yeah. but... H2, by the way, stole the purple buff with using oh, the ultimate! Oh, H2! He eats up the Petrify, the full combo of the Benedetta! Oh my god. That should not have been the case! Omega now trying to scrabble, trying to find a play. They have to somehow focus on Satsui, but they're somehow whittling down the turtle. They're going to try to go after Satsui, charging it up. No, x was actually trying to go after Edward, trying to interrupt the Fredrin. Somehow they're going to try to steal this turtle under the notes of Blacklist International because if they get it, Whoa! somehow what? Ryota with a punch, a knockout strike to take the turtle for Omega. And that means Omega can team fight. They have the Barrett's with them. How the heck did they get that bottom lane? Oheb gets its first tower down. How exactly is Unbelievable. sheer math? It was a 4v4. It was a 4v4, no jungler for Omega. And then Ryota comes in. I got this. I'm going to do my own thing. Gets it for himself. You're going to have to come in Blacklist International, though. The moment they saw H2 already utilizing the ultimate, they jumped. They committed all. The Petrify as well as the, the flicker play from Haji. Okay, Jom, can you Jom? TP out? Whoa! Oh, that was so close. Woo! The pop of the concussive blast. Big J knows how to put on a show. Edward goes ahead, cuts right through the back line. H2 and Rebo trying to get some farm onto yeah. Omega's jungler right now. And 
again, the slower the game goes, the more back and forths we get. Yeah. I, I think there's more of a chance Omega can actually take us to game three. Maybe. Let's see if that happens right now. Their lineup having a lot of problems. Their expert actually uses the death and as welcome as Jome under the tower against three members of Blacklist International. He eats up the ultimate of the Minotaur as well. Ryota, he sees Oheb. He's going to be able to take him down to the tower. He gets taken down. They're full. Oh, not going to strike the stun as well. Coming in from the floor in. Oh, I'm trying to survive. Oh, Wrath. H2. Actually, no, but no. H2. H2 with an entropy. And the turnaround is it because Oheb, the golden of Blacklist International, is down. But in the bottom lane, Edward was pushing it out. Small win in the fight for Omega, but they're losing map control still. Clutch Entropy by H2 there. He may have been benched for the longest time now, but he still has a killer instinct set in. Oh, oh. mid lane push from Edward. Haji! Haji, Haji really low here. Oh, oh. Leota doesn't go for it. Expecting you. Uh, they don't get the tower. Oh, Star no. Shatter. Oh, it's not no. going to kill him unless. Oh, oh. Edward, Edward, really close. Edward, Edward! Edward might. Edward just might. Oh, what Ryota trying to find it. Uh, I for now. No! no! Ryota! What the flaker, here comes Big J, I'm offended! He is able to find you! Ryota <laughs> again! Alright, the scramble what? has led to Blacklist getting a free go at the Lord. And something tells me Omega knows, but something has to kick in somewhere. All of these fun fights and plays yeah. are resulting too much for the Barangay. Atoy R! Leader of the Atoy army, now they're pushing. Oh, Joe misses it. Could have been big if they were able to take down Oheb there. The tower's gonna fall though. Omega trying to equalize Edward, finds the angle. Cool. Not to take away from Omega. Cool, cool is cool. Cool is cool. Cool is cool. <laughs> yeah. Unbelievable play coming out from Ryota. Flickering in and then landing the jab actually to get the, the extra shields. Yeah. And obviously, the retribution coming out from H2 came in clutch as well. However, they still lost the Lord. That's still an important objective here. Yeah. As flashy as Omega's place where we gotta have to commend Edward because not only did he push two turrets in the bottom lane, he also pushed the mid lane turret. Yeah. So there's a lot of map control problems for Omega now. And so these are symptoms of the first game. Oh, oh, oh. That's as true. Cool as it is, and as as many signs yeah. of, of life Omega may put on. They're still losing on a fundamental sense. Yeah. Uh, again, majority of these players on the side of Blacklist International oh. went through the M5 World Championship, where controlling the map, minion wave control, was so important. That's the modern day game of MLBB, while Omega, as you mentioned, Ryota as oh. well. Oh. Oh. He wins the 1v1. He wins the 1v1. <laughs> Makasa gets and, uh, the knockout. And now they're going to be going forward. x is going to be able to get the dead on his welcome there onto Sensui, but Sensui is really tanky. Haji and you are trying to find the damage of Razor's Wrath gets dealt out. Oh, have able to free hit right now. It looks like Omega can't reach Oheb. Ryota once again from the back. Hodge. He's going to be able to get Sensui. He finds Oheb as well. Omega turning it around. Omega Ooh. has turned it around. The Barangay scores a four for one trade. They're gonna go straight for mid. And just like that, Yue can only watch. This is old man strength. That's what I'm talking about. It's a thing, and you're seeing it. I seeing it from Ryota. Turning back the clock with this. Paquito making the hero plays that Omega needed. Three kills in the last two minutes because of Ryota. Noe. No, no, we no win for Omega. Ooh. Oh, wow. The last time Barats was played in mid was by TNC Pro Team in Season 8. So I'd like to think that was an experimental approach to the hero. And here we're seeing it again in the same light. But Omega's making it work. That was the key Ooh. to victory. We talked about running back the clock in terms of showing the history of the league. And that's with a big pick right there in mid. Multi-generational talent. Yeah. I'm pretty sure Edward is nodding in approval like, hey, I, I would play the Paquito just the same way. That That's yeah. the right play there. Uh, Riota, good call. How did he burst him down that much? See Halberd, Malefic Roar, Hunter Strike. That's how. The yeah. Trinity in the hands of Riota. It felt even better for the Riota because he was also able to find Oheb a little bit. And that little bit of knock up onto Oheb was more than enough for Omega to find the opening to eventually take him down. So now it's even. I can't believe it. Now it's even. Whoa, 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 whoa. This is a uh, Luminous Lord spawning in the lower quarter. H2 going for it. Spotted still by yeah. the Echoes. Yue, very hard to miss. Full and in. now the dance begins. Lord here approaching half health. Exhort obliging in the dance. Four members 
from Omega. Four members from Black. Once again. Going for the soft reset. 1v1! 1v1. Ryota and Edward. Sword versus Fist. Ryota trying to find the opening there. Edward slashes away. Ryota with the combo. A lot of damage forcing out the Electro final blow. It's four versus four. The two EXP laners are playing chicken with each other. But so now who's going to get this here? That's the hard reset coming in. One more time. Let's dance. Haji trying to get for the pull. And just like that, Sensui dives in. This is dangerous. Yeah. Oh. And Nature is also purple buff dependent, by the way, but it look he takes it so easily. Whoa! Ryota because push. of Ryota's 1v1, I'd call it technical knockout. He gets yeah. a push. Haji on the right side. Oh, why bush? Watch the map as we're watching the Lord. Sasui here. Haji, great position by him. Oheb here as well. Oh, H2 spots him. He spots him with the entropy. He's not going to get close. Exhort with a Bonk. flicker. Death as well. Come on to Haji. The roamer with a massive middle one fury. Is this enough time to ask him? Oh! Sasui goes in. Appraiser's wrath and knockout. But that's what? the kill of the Minotaur. Who got the Lord? It was Agent Zero. Yet again, the fight was split between the two. And it's Blacklist who tried. Triumph, two kills plus the Lord. The synchronous engage by Blacks International could have sworn there was a Cyclone Eye underneath Sensui. Yeah. The way he flickered in with the Minoan Fury, with Haji. Oh my god. And it led to such a big win. Blacklist, yes, trades two for one, but still walks away with the Lord. Exactly. They got the Lord because Edward was there. And even when the two junglers are isolated, the damage uh -huh. out of Edward was more than enough. And the fact that they took out Ryota. That's gonna be massive for Omega. Oh, my, my, my mind is For like, a blacklist, I mean. Yeah, I, I'm sort of wondering, did it look like that because it wasn't just a dash by Sensui? Was he like pulled back by either an ult by the Ruby or the missiles of the... Uh, maybe the missiles, parents? because uh, Ruby was in front of the Lord. Ah, uh, Joan yes. was in front of the Lord. So pushed into by the missiles from and Exord, dash. and then maybe even displaced by one of uh, H2's skills. True. That gave him a little... I don't, it's displacement, man, but it went all to yeah. Blacklist's way. Now Lord's going to be marching in. Again. Big five-man echoes. Oh, oh my Agent God. Zero goes in, but he gets dead and is welcomed. Similar to what happened in the game number one, a little bit too eager was Edward. And Omega are going to try to punish Blacklist by... Let's see if they can get map control after this. Yeah, can somebody check if there's an imposter hiding inside Edward's skin? Because <laughs> that is... That's two Edward mistakes in one series. You, you know what I'm, gonna, I'm, I'm saying now? <laughs> that's so weird. But I understand why he went for that, because they landed an echo, which means that the Petrify will be, yeah. oh. you know? It's, oh. a five it's man always petrify. tempting. Oh, wait, it's wait, wait, always wait. tempting. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay. Running it back in mid. Going for the full on engage. Finding a siege. Ah... Nope, I think Omega overshot. All right, we'll just take something yeah. else. Ooh. Still hurting there with the Star Shatters. Purple buff will be get taken away. I think it's because of the TPs from Omega. I'm not going to say Edward's tilted, but again, the Filipino term, gigil. Uh, he, he's hungry. Which years later still does not have a direct translation. Uh, yeah, something true. else to note. Something else to note. Real quick, look at the items. Uh... Ooh. I'm trying to think of why Edward would have done that. Maybe even after the five, the promise of five-man petrify. Yeah. Yeah. No one on Blacklist's lineup can actually dive in as deep as him. Exactly. So, like, what exactly. was the call? Yeah, that's a weird call. <sighs> and I don't think that they have minions anyways in the bottom lane. So, yeah. So many weird hmm. interactions. Like I said, somebody check who's hiding yeah. beneath Edward's skin. I I'm going to pose, like, one last theory. Okay. I think he's just really trying to gamble and get an EXP laner for H2 trade. Like he was trying to trade himself okay. for H2 somehow. Uh, because again, yeah, H2 yeah. is one of the few ways actually Omega defends. Yeah. A right. Omega has very bad wave clear. Yeah. Yep. But I also am sort of in the camp of Wolf that maybe he's wearing an Edward bodysuit. Yeah. That's the theory. <laughs> press 1 if you believe, press 2 if you think it's... It's impossible. <laughs> oh, man. The way that uh, Edward has been playing with uh, these little fumbles, I'd like to think more that maybe it is a doppelganger because that, that's more of a thing than old man strength. Here we go. <laughs> Lord Come Dance coming up. Lord less than half health. Okay. Sensui with the pull. Soft reset. Neither team letting go. Again, the 1v1 XP laner matchup still happening. Close and to Omega's oh. purple. No welcome. No, they don't as welcome. Is anyone going to reset? Joe! Andrew Job goes Haji! in. Oh, he fights Haji. But no one fury. Okay. Still. And Edward. Edward coming in. Petrify like to find a blow. Agent Zero. Now there oh. is something that isn't a mistake. 
calculated, no. intentional, cold-blooded by Edward. And now he's going to be chasing after Ryota. Are they going to duel it out again? He has an immortality. Ryota only has his shields, his fist. There's Yue. There's Haji. Oh. And Ryota will be able to flicker away. But he's going back. Omega still at the Lord. Run, no, we run. Doom again. Double pull. Big damage onto this ruby. But he falls. Ex uh, exhort. Actually able to knock by the members of Blacklist through the wall, but no, that's it. Blacklist gets this Lord. There was no Un recompense. I don't know what Joan was thinking, man. Me too. Unbelievable jump, though. Coming up from Edward. Waiting for the right moment. One shot potential against H2. Well, there was Haji that flickered in afterwards, but that's besides the point. Oh, no. No purify on the Nathan. How many times should I say it? That's a problem. You know what's more beautiful? It's the fact that it was well communicated that the entropy has already been used. Exactly. Yeah. That the switch has already been pulled and there was no way H2 was going to walk away from anything. If he could get away from something, he would have to literally walk. And I like to think it's a little bit of a breakdown in communication by the members of Omega. They needed to help H2. There was no one there with Ouch. him. Everyone else was looking forward to just oh, staying forward. Here we Another go. echo. Potentially the final siege here by Blacklist. Penetrating through mid. Next stop down bottom. Where's the fight going to take him? Lord taken care of here. They lose two inhibitors. Yeah, no flicker for Haji, so no surprise initiation there. So they're backing off. They're backing off just for now, waiting for the minion waves. But uh, they're going to make a play here for this tower because it's still almost two minutes plus. Or, or around two minutes or so and counting, ticking down. Before this Lord spawns, Usually teams would just commit a play there, play around this area, stop them from getting any resources. Yep, so uh, it looks like Blacklist telegraphing uh, that they will make yes. a play here, make a siege, and then from there go for the next Lord. Oh, wait, okay, wait, wait, there's wait, wait, a play. Wait. Joe with the pull! I like to find a blow to counteract it. Edward is dashing and damaging the members of Omega right now. Whoa! Exhort, able to get away. Sensui has immortality. Abrazer's oh. wrath gets interrupted by Jumpstone. Oh! Shatter by the Navaria takes out the Ruby. Omega lose one, five versus four. But Blacklist are kind of low. They have to back off just a little bit, but it looks like they're gonna try to play around it. Close, but not quite. You yes, right side. They do get their health. Oh, no way. 100% echoes. Star Shatter onto H2. Entropy committed. Haji with a middle one fear. He gets a knock up H2 as well, but H2. No, look at Edward. He finds the mark. On H2, he finds the Nathan and Blacklist International find the sweep over their rivals, over the Barangay. Can confirm this still is the same old, same old Edward playing for Blacks International, able to find H2 back to back to back to score the sweep. 2-0 for Black. And how about that, UA? Back-to-back -back games with perfect usages of the Echo. Giving so much of an advantage for Blacklist International. Then Edward. Edward, my man. I really doubted his mistakes because it was very, I don't know, uncanny. Yeah. For Edward, it didn't look like Edward. But that last two jumps <laughs> on to, onto H2, that really looked like Edward. Yeah. Uh, great. Positioning and uh, just hunting down by Edward, being able to find H2 over and over again. Uh, the older version 